All right, so this is for the recap, obviously. So, <laughs> recap. Oh, God damn it. I did end up stumbling upon something that I think I can turn into something visual. So, let's see how this works out. And I'm sorry if it's not as visually engaging as I promised in the last video was of their um, integration of a treadmill into VR chat. I started off by just um, transferring some texture files into Unity and then I was wrestling with the functionality of um, SFM files within Blender. The thing that I couldn't really take my mind off of is actually tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be super chaotic because not only is it like the final day, it's the beginning of the closure of the whole election window thing. And so that's going to be fun and chaotic. So right now, polls are both trying to process as many voters as can be, and at the same time, polls are closing. <laughs> so we're kind of slowly getting the data kind of coming through. Um, earlier today, I, there was one instance in which there was a zip file that when I tried to extract it through my newest computer, which runs on Windows 11, um, it would result in a file. So the file that it promised was a 218 megabyte, I think were the numbers, um, folder. And inside were the contents that consisted of those 218 megabytes. Now the problem was is that once um, extracted, the folder only held one item. And that one item was uh, 214 kilobytes. It was just so funny that they have this, this pamphlet that they haven't offered us to the two time, other times that we've been to the clinic. And it was about language and um, racial discrimination. And the first bullet point, which was the language barrier thing, that was the one that was being tread on the most. So. So it's right under there. Um, and it's one of the things that sort of sold me on the idea of this experiment. Because a lot of treadmills, you know, are these big bulky things. <coughs> All right, an interesting update to today is instead of an outdoor parking lot, we are walking through a parking garage because where we originally thought that the building that we were supposed to go to was just next door to one that we've gone to like once or twice before. This new location is like 15 streets south. The place. But this is my this is the one that I'm I have a problem with because um, the type is just in generic. It's a file. <laughs> it's not a .exe. It's not a .jpg. It's not a .unity project. Is that what that extension is called? Um, so I don't know what to do with this. I don't feel well. <laughs> um, I think I started off the day very poorly by not eating something with my coffee, even though normally it's not a big problem, but, um, yeah, I just had like just a internal disagreement. Um, but all of that aside... Let's do some Blender. So what I want to do is see if I can recreate um, the ethereal ghost texture 
Okay, so as you can see in the dying light of the day, um, the day is pretty much over. <laughs> but I think we made some pretty large strides in progress towards like just the normal things that we you know normally do today. But also, and more importantly, in that strange situation with the files that I got from the zip file, I posted it. Um, he kind of recognized, or she, I guess, um, recognized that there was a problem with like the extension of the zipped folder itself or something like that. And then he did something with like a tar.gz. He gets a file with the .exe in it. <laughs> and so we're, I, I sit there and I'm kind of dumbfounded, like what, but why not my computer? And so we start asking him questions about like, okay, so what software did you use? Did you use seven zip? Did you use WinRAR? Did you use whatever? Did you use the basic thing that's on your computer? And he goes, um, no, I, yeah, I just used whatever the computer recommended, but I'm also on a Mac. And that's the recap. The videos can be seen in their full length and full context over here. Tyler in progress.